Okay guys, today I'm going to be going over some of the features in the uh, the Midio Studio, or the Audio Midio setup, sorry, in Mac. So you open it up and you get this audio devices area. And what this shows you is it shows you all of your separate audio devices as in your inputs and your outputs. So your mics, your speakers, your audio interfaces. So I, as you can see, I have my audio interface right here. So you can change the volume in here of mono, one, two, and uh, stereo. So you have your master, and then you have, what well, if you want stereo, you have the two separate channels. Say it for all these things. Um, and then when you have your audio interface, you can actually go to both input and output and do the same thing. And hopefully you can't hear my clicking too much. Um, you can change, you know, the hertz, uh, format hertz, uh, the bits, Let's change the type of bits. Uh, that's really all you can do. Add then you can add uh, one of your in, uh, devices as well as manage some of them. Uh, let's add a device really quick. Uh, I'll show you. You can actually say what the device is. So let's say this is the built-in microphone. You check which channels you want to be activated. So I just want one of them. Uh, but I'm actually going to delete this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So next thing. You have your edit, of course, which is just basic. Actually, if you're in Finder, it doesn't actually change. You have your preferences for it, all the good stuff. Let's actually go to preferences. Um, so you can actually reopen from last session, or you can open your specific window here based on what it want, what you want. You have how loud you want your audio to be. <laughs> now this is just some info about your versions and stuff. Uh, now we have view, which doesn't do much. Uh, you have window, and the only thing you can really do in window is show MIDI uh, studio. So you just show your MIDI studio. As you can see, it shows every MIDI device on your computer, and also your ICA, IAC driver uh, network and Bluetooth, so you can connect them to those things. So as you can see, I have a micro, uh, on my Mo2, Mo um, micro light here i have my jdxi here i have my audio box i have my figure trigger pro and i actually have a, a cheap uh co keyboard um and you can actually use this to connect uh maybe port one to there kind of thing like drag it so now those are connected um but usually you do this in your DAW anyway so it doesn't really matter can i just undo those really quick it does not want okay no Please just delete these. There we go. So you can do all that. You can add a mini device based on. So we have a new external device here. Just double tap that to get the properties. Um, so you can set the MIDI channels that it can uh, send and receive. The color of it is just preferable. What you prefer. You can set the name, manufacturer, model. Um, check what it is. Uh, and then apply. Uh, we have our ports here, so where the MIDI ports are actually going to be sending from if it has multiple ports. Uh, remove it. We actually click on this, uh, show info, and it'll show the info. Uh, Rescan will actually scan your computer for whatever devices are connected to it. And then we have a test setup, which will actually make a sound, so let's hear it. Oh, sorry, you have to actually click on one of these things, and it will actually test the sound of them. Uh, I don't actually have anything here that we can test, though. I'll say actually is there no built in's not here. So yeah, it's as you can see. So you click on currently not working. Okay. So yeah. That's really all that's in here. Uh it's it's useful for setting up some of your mini devices sometimes. Uh that's really all you really ever use it for. But yeah, thanks for watching.